What is going on guys, Mani here, and today I just wanted to teach everyone here about points, about the points class in Java. Now basically a point is just, um, you know, two coordinates, a point, like on a plane or something like that in math. And in order to create a point, what you do is you say point, we're going to name our point P equals new point, and as the, um, the, the parameters, it takes two integers, so we're just going to say ours are five and seven. The two integers are basically you know, where the point's going to be at on the plane. And of course, you have to import the points class first. So now that we have imported the class, we're, gonna, uh, we're just going to display, you know, we're going to you know, get the x coordinate of the point. So we're going to say system x coordinate. And we're just going to say p dot get x. And what this is basically, it's going to print out the x coordinate for us, but so you'll see in a second. Okay, so it's printed out the x coordinate, and it printed it out as a double, which is very important that you keep that in mind when you're printing it. p.getx returns a double. All right. Now, okay, so what I want to do with you guys, I just wanted to, um, I wanted to create a double array in order to display the point, such so you know, sort of like the coordinate system. So I'm going to say string double array x equals new string. The size is going to be ten by ten. Okay. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to print out the double array. So. You know, you know how when you're doing a double row, you always create a double for loop. So I'm going to say for int i equals 0, i is less than x i plus plus. For int j equals 0, j is less than x j plus plus. Okay, and And basically, in order to print out, you know, which one you guys know how to print out for loops. So x at i and j equals, and basically we're gonna show each spot as the letter o. So just like that. Now, of course, like when you run this, it's obviously not gonna do anything. Let me just show you. Okay. And. Oh yeah, we'll still print out the coordinate. But. And yeah, so nothing happened basically because we're not we're not actually displaying the for loop. So in order to do that, I want to go outside of the main method because it makes it so much fun. So static void display, and this is how I always display um, double arrays. So static void display string takes a double array called string s. And in this one, we're just going to say, we're going to create another double for loop. So 4, i equals 0, i is less than, oops, no, 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 i is less than s dot length, i plus plus, 4, it's j equals 0, j is less than s dot length, j plus plus. Now, we're going to go back into the i for loop. And we're gonna say system out print line, and that's it. We're just all we're doing is just printing a new line, and then we're gonna go into the J for loop, and we're gonna say system out print. No print line this time, just system out print, and we're gonna print out the double array. So we're gonna say S at I. We're gonna print out S at I and J plus a tab just for space. So now we're going to go back into the main method. Now follow me, right? Go back into the main method. We're going to call display. And we're just going to pass in x as the argument, which is the double array. So now it should just print out a whole bunch of o's as well as the x coordinate, you know, the x coordinate of the point. So it should just print out a bunch of o's that represent the array. Okay. And voila. Beautiful. So yeah, all it's done is just it's printed out a whole bunch of O's. That's it. You know, and all these O's they represent the points in the array. 
or the you know the things in the, in the array that we already created. So let's exit out of here. Now, so now what I want to do is I want to display the point. So I'm going to say that. Um, okay, so this right here is basically how you how you display a point from the points class. So I'm going to say x, which is the double array. So x at at um, p dot get x in p dot get y equals and we're just gonna have it right have the point represented as a p makes it a lot easier okay so we have an area here but why so remember how we said that basically um when you print out the when you print out the x or y coordinate of the point it returns a double but this needs an integer in here so we're just gonna simply cast an n right here and right here all right, no more errors. Okay, so now it should simply print out a P amongst the double array already. It should just print out a P in, in the middle of all those O's at position 5, 7, which we have right here. So I'm going to run it. Okay. Okay, awesome. So it prints out the X coordinate 5.0 right here, of course. And now if we look over here at position 5, 7, it's printed out a P, which represents our point. So if we go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the P's right here. And if we say 0, 1, 2, 2 3, 4, ah, 5, 6, 7. All right, awesome. So it's printed out the P at position 5, 7. Wonderful. Now we can try to make this, um, we can try to make the x coordinate like 15 or something, but you know, that'll give us an error just because it's bigger than the original array. So let's just try that real quick again. Yep, an out of bounds exception because 15 is bigger than 10. So we just have to make this between um, 0 and 9. And this will work as long as you have the x coordinate and the y coordinate between 0 and 9, this will work with any point, as long as it's less than the defined, the defined size of the array right here. So let's just make this, let's make this 3. Try to run it. And as you can see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, wonderful, just, just beautiful. Alright, awesome. And also this right here updates too. It says that x coordinate equals 2.0. So now that we know how to display points from the point class, next we're gonna you know get into all types of things such as translating them or finding the distance between them. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video. Peace.